This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a first look at Storm Pyramid X. And can I say that she is looking great. This is an awesome character design here. Uh, just aesthetically, I have to give props to the designer. Loving the way this storm looks. And without even knowing how good she is, I want her. Just because she looks so cool. And I like Storm. All right, let's take a look at her attributes here. Uh, keep in mind, this is only a rank three SIG 200 champion. So what you're going to see here is based on that. Uh, she will get better as she gets ranked up. Uh, she does have the villain tag, offensive burst, X-Men, and she is small. All right. Let's take a look here at her attributes. So her crit rating is kind of low. That one, not too impressive. Crit damage rating, 200%, pretty good. Okay. And we see here armor rating, not that high. And her block proficiency is pretty good as well. And as we will see, she has a glancing mechanic that's going to make her even beefier. Uh, that's another thing to mention about her health. She has a lower health pool because she has those mechanics that kind of make up for it. All right, so let's take a look at her synergies. First synergy, Sorcerer Supreme was just in the arena. Round two is about to uh, hit. Uh, opponent nullify effects suffer 50% ability accuracy. Okay. This next one here is with Bishop. Her prowess buffs last four seconds longer, which can be quite useful. And we're going to see Bishop again in another synergy. Uh, here's one with OG Storm. Under the weather, alternate tempest activated by Storm special three lasts eight seconds longer. And we're going to talk about her alternate Tempest uh, when we get into her abilities. Kingdom of Wakanda! Wakanda forever! Uh, all the Synergy Champions bleed debuffs inflicted on the opponent last 30% longer. So that's with the uh, Killmonger, who is an awesome champion already, and the Black Panthers. Now, the Deep Wounds Mastery seems to be a great synergy for this okay just in case you guys wanted to run max deep wounds which is great when you're dealing with any champion uh that bleeds or infix, uh, inflicts a bleed spider guild evade ability accuracy is increased by 30 percent and after activating evade inflict a stun remember that mesmerize inflict a stun for two seconds both of these effects enter cooldown for 12 seconds after this stun is activated. So that is pretty cool. And you see that the uh, champions that are part of this synergy all have evade. They're all auto evaders. So they're going to evade unless something shuts down their evade. All right, next one up, Mutant Agenda. And remember I told you we were going to see Bishop again. Uh, mutants landed strikes during special attacks gain 12% attack rating. So they're going to hit harder with their specials. Okay. Now let's get over here to her abilities. Her SIG ability, while below 30% of her maximum health, Storm activates both Tempests. So that is really good. However, you have to be below 30% of your maximum health. I'm not really a big fan of that because I try not to get hit. I don't know about anybody else, but in a fight, I try not to get hit. But I do get hit, so that seems to be something that is a nice to have. So I would say personally, she doesn't really need to be awakened. But that awakened ability is nice. You fall below 30%, 
You know, it's almost like the um, courage mastery. When you get low in health, same thing with assassin, you're going to hit harder or, you know, gain some beneficial effect when you're close to death. All right. All right. Let's see her passives. So her basic attacks deal energy damage instead of physical. So that can be very useful in several situations. Uh, she also has energy resistance. Every time I see energy resistance, I think of magic. Uh, I remember when magic was so difficult and we didn't have a lot of counters for her. Energy resistance was the only thing that we could do uh, because we were going to take that limbo and this would reduce the damage of the limbo. But of course, it reduces any energy uh, damage. And there is a mastery that increases your energy resistance as well. All right. Uh, if the opponent purifies a stun debuff, it is replaced with a passive stun lasting two seconds. I like this one. It made me laugh when I read it. Because basically what it's saying is, okay, I'm going to try to stun you. You purify it. So I'm going to replace that with a stun that you're not going to be able to purify. So you get stunned. You try to get rid of it. I'm going to stun you again. Love it. Now, she has a couple of pre-fight abilities. These are her Tempest that you heard earlier. Uh, remember that her special um, signature ability you can activate both, but it's when you are below 30% health. By default, you have this Ice Tempest selected. Okay, now, when power is locked or drained, your Tempests are removed for eight seconds, so they're coming back. Okay, and you can't stop the activation of her Tempest with ability accuracy reduction, which is nice. So let's look at the Tempest that she has available. That Ice Tempest, which is the default, but you can select in the pre-fight ability a different one. Uh, she's going to gain immunity to Cold Snap and Frostbite, which already makes her great for several situations. Uh, anyone that does Cold Snap, like Iceman, you know, um, and I think Vision Arcus as well. So she gains an immunity to those things. So if you're going up against an Iceman or Vision Arcus, then you don't have to do anything because Ice Tempest is the default. You can just go in. Her basic attacks, you know, or rather incoming basic attacks, have a 60% chance to glance. So it's making her a little bit tankier. Okay, and we already know about these glancing attacks. They can't be criticals. Um, and it deals 50% reduced damage. So she's tough. A lightning Tempest, it decreases the potency of incoming shock effects by 100%. So if you're fighting someone who does shock damage or if you're going up against a node that is shock, switch to the lightning Tempest and you're good to go. Okay, and each active prowess, because she does gain prowesses, which increase her damage, uh, adds 2% chance to stun the opponent on hit for... 0.9 seconds. That can be fun. All right. Uh, when she's knocked down, uh, if not already active, she's going to you know activate her alternate Tempest for 12 seconds. Uh, duration is paused during heavy attacks and special attacks. So it'll last even longer. You know, if you get knocked down and you have a special ready, then get knocked down, parry, Fire you special, and it's just going to last that much longer. Okay? Uh, prowess, uh, when either champion fills a bar of power. So each Tempest generates one prowess, increasing the next special attack's damage by 40%. The first three prowess buffs last indefinitely. Additional prowess buffs last 10 seconds. So I'm getting a feeling just off the bat here that she's not going to be a strong uh, suicide friendly type champion because it looks like she's going to need to fire off these special attacks. Uh, that's just my first initial impression. Uh, if Storm has six prowess effects active during a special attack, 
she's going to gain a passive unblockable for 1.8 seconds. Fun, fun, fun. All right, her heavy attacks. She can charge a heavy attack, and it creates a dormant prowess, which goes from 0 to 100%. Launching a special attack while charging a heavy attack converts this dormant pass, uh, prowess into a passive prowess, increasing the special attack's damage by up to 100% based on how long the heavy attack was charged. Remember, uh, that dormant prowess charges from 0 to 100. So you charge it up to 100, fire off a special attack, it's going to increase the special attack's damage by 100%. Very interesting. And here are her special attacks. So special attack one, it inflicts a passive slow for the duration of this special attack, preventing the effects of unstoppable and lowering evade ability accuracy by 100%. Opponents with a natural class advantage cannot be slowed. So when I read this, I saw that it said preventing the effects of unstoppable. So to me, that means that if they already have unstoppable, this is not going to get rid of it like She-Hulk's would. It's going to be more like Spider-Gwen, where if they're about to get an unstoppable, this will stop it. So you have to bear that in mind. If you're going up against a champion that you know gets unstoppable on a timer, you can fire your special attack off just as they are about to get their unstoppable and prevent it. So a lot of utility that I'm seeing here in a storm loving it okay but she doesn't seem like she's a wet noodle either so this is looking nice all right um ice tempest each hit that contacts uh the opponent generates one prowess buff increasing special attack damage by 10 percent for the remainder of this special attack so this special is going to do more damage if they're getting hit Additionally, the final hit inflicts a passive cold snap. So look at what this is going to do. Say you're fighting um, an auto evader and you know how the AI loves to evade in the middle of your special or your attacks or something. Well, you fire this special attack one off and they're not going to be able to evade, uh, at least use their auto evade. And if they get hit with that last one, for 14 seconds, they're not going to evade. So a lot of utility there, man. A lot of utility I'm seeing. All right, special attack two. Uh, this one if inflicts a shock debuff uh, that does damage over time. Now, here's another mechanic that I love, just like the stun one. Uh, if any of those are purified, then it deals burst instant shock damage so you think you're going to uh remove my shock debuff so that i can't do the damage to you over a slow period of time you want to get rid of it quick so now you get a quick damage instead love this mechanic all right uh lightning tempest shock damage is increased by up to 90 percent based on the opponent's current power similar to og um storm the more power they have, the more damage you do. Additionally, each prowess reduces the opponent's defensive power rate by 25% up to a max of 100%. Very nice. And finally, Special Attack 3. If both Tempests are already active, which if you have the signature ability and you're below 30% health, Storm increases her attack rating during this attack. So her special three is going to hit harder. After this special attack ends, Storm activates her alternate Tempest for 35 seconds. So that means you're going to have both of them active. So getting below 30% health, you're going to have both active if you have the signature ability. If you don't have the signature ability, during the special attack three, you're going to have them both active for at least 35 seconds. Uh, this duration is paused while charging heavy attacks and launching specials. So that 35 seconds, if you're aggressive and you're firing off your heavies and you are using specials, 
then it's going to be extended. I'm liking Storm so far, and I haven't even played with her yet. That sounded bad. Um, but we're going to get into some gameplay and see how she looks, her animations, uh, what the damage looks like, and let's have some fun. All right, let's head into a Realm of Legends, and we're going to face off against Winter Soldier. Even though he's not the best showcase of her abilities, he's a great benchmark so you can see the animations of Storm in case you have not seen them before. And we'll get a rough idea of the damage that she can do. Uh, here's the team that I'm going in here with. I've activated the Killmonger, Bishop, and OG Storm synergies. Uh, you can look earlier in the video to see what those do, in case you have forgotten. All right. Now, against Winter Soldier, a lot of her utility is wasted. All right, so here's her pre-fight abilities. We talked about these earlier. Ice Tempest is the default, uh, but you can also switch to Lightning Tempest. All right, now we're going to activate Ice Tempest here. And for some reason, we can activate both. I do not know at this time whether that is a bug or not. Because I'm thinking, why would you not want to activate both? I don't think you're supposed to be able to activate both. But we're going to activate both. And let's go in here. And let's check out what she looks like. Okay. Here we go. I want to see what she um, looks like when she takes that uh, special two block damage. That's going to be nice. Uh, and I'm just going to build up to a special three first. And then we're going to take a look at what that looks like. So I don't remember what it looks like. Okay. Here we go. Perfect bonus damage. Ah, uh, look at her. She just looks awesome. Ooh. Oh, wow. Make him dance. Okay, that was cute. Reminded me of uh, Iceman's uh, special... Uh, what is it? Special um, 2, is it? Kind of reminded me of that. All right, let's look at her uh, special one here. Yep, there's the slow, as you saw. And there's the cold snap on the end. Okay. And you can see he has cold snap on him right now. There's a stun. All right. And we're going to take a special two. Let's get this uh, special two off here. I see that unblockable. Woo, look at that shock damage. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to try something. Let's, uh... Okay. You can see the uh, heavy attack charging up. Oop, made a mistake. Too busy looking, and then he power drains me. Great. Uh, I was trying to build up uh, to a special two. What I want to do is I'm going to charge up the heavy... And then I'm going to fire off a special two because I liked how much damage that special two did. Okay, let's go ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's bait out a special one. Yep, there we go. Because he sometimes acts crazy. All right, come on. No, no heavies. Ah, and then he surprises me. All right, let's try it again. Come on, let's get a parry. Wow. I'm just trying to get a parry, folks. Okay, now I get a parry, but I didn't mean to. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, wasn't exactly what I was trying to do because he power drained me from my special two. Let's try it again. All right. All right. Let's bait that out. Okay. Stun. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Woo! Did you see that big boy damage? That was not bad. That was not bad at all. Um, if I had not messed up uh, earlier, look at those stuns. 
Uh, if I had not messed up earlier, then we could have probably uh, finished this. Do you guys see these stuns? Woo, nice. These stuns, man. Okay. That was not bad at all. Uh, I like her. I really do. All right. We're going to go back in real quick. And uh, that one was just me playing around. Uh, but I want to try out that... Uh, uh, whoops. Let's, we have to quit out of here. Uh, I want to try out that charging up the heavy and then firing off a special two. Because her special two seems to be the one that does the big boy damage. And as I, as I thought, she doesn't seem to be very suicide friendly. All right. So let's go ahead and activate both. Again, I don't know why you would not. Um, don't think that that's going to be when it goes live. I don't know. Um, I need to find that out. Uh, and I will check on that and add something uh, in the video once I find out. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, try to fire off these special twos. And uh, hopefully he'll play nice and won't do what he did the last time. All right, here we go. Okay, so I can't do it quite like that because it gives him a chance to uh, recover. All right. I'm getting used to this, getting used to this. Let's try it again. Bait that out. Otherwise, he likes to fire it off right in the middle. Come on. All right. Okay, that's some decent damage right there. Um, I didn't hold it as long because if I hold it too long, as you saw, he had a chance to uh, block. All right, let's go here. All right. Come on. Yeah, see like that? It doesn't hit him right away, so it doesn't look like I can combo uh, into the special two if I hold it for too long. Um, I got to, you know, make sure that he's stunned before I do that for a good length of time. So let's try it again. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. All right. Come on, stop being passive. All right. All right, let's try that. Nope. Okay, well, it did hit him. Okay. I'm liking that, that special 2 damage, though. That special 2 damage is uh, legit. And I guess it increases the more prowess buffs you have. Okay, let's hit him with this. Special 1. That special 1 does some decent damage, too. Let's try that again. Mm-hmm. Okay, we didn't get a crit on that last one this time. All right. But yeah, she's she's pretty cool. I am liking her. I am liking her, man. Oh, man. I want this champion. <laughs> Just because she's so cool looking. So, I don't know where I would actually use her. But she is so cool. See, I just wish I could do a little bit better there. But it looks like she, he still got hit even though he was blocking. Hmm. Let's try that again. Okay. We got eight prowess on us. Okay, that was some big boy damage right there. You guys saw that. So when she's on and she gets those prowess buffs up like that, she's doing some crazy damage on that special two uh, when you charge up. Woo, look at that. 
That is nice. And you see that shock is still on him. So he's getting shocked up. Okay, we're going to try one more uh, special two. Again, uh, I'm running suicide, so I'm getting eaten up by my recoil damage. Okay. Whoa. And he's down. Yeah. Look at her. Look at that victory pose. That is sweet. All right, so what do I think of Storm? I guess you guys can tell already that I like her. I like her a lot. She's got great utility. Uh, she doesn't have any um, of the suicide mastery immunity, so she's not bleed immune. She's not poison immune, but with that Ice Tempest, she has cold snap immunity and frostbite immunity. Uh, she also has glancing, so that makes her a little tougher than your average champion because most of our damage comes from crits, and so that is huge, okay? She has low crit, um, a crit rate, but as you saw, if you set things up, she can do some good damage. I'm liking that special too. Uh, I don't know if that's the best rotation to use, but you'll notice that I charged up the heavy and then I fired off the special two and it seemed to be hitting uh, the opponent. I didn't see where it was unblockable, but it seems like it was hitting them anyway, even if they were blocking and still getting that shock on them. So I'm still learning. Uh, this is a first look. So in the weeks, months to come, we're going to learn more about Storm. But I like her, and I want this champion. I don't know whether I'm going to have uh, the time and the motivation really to grind for her, but I'm leaning towards that because she is really cool looking. Uh, I passed on Sorcerer Supreme. Even though Sorcerer Supreme has great utility, um, I didn't know where I would use her. Uh, same thing with Storm, except I can see a couple of places that glancing ability is very useful. Um, the slow, the shutting down of the evade. Uh, she seems to have more utility than Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, but neither one of them are suicide friendly, so we'll see. Chances are, if I do go for her, and I am going to go for her, at least in the crystals. I'll open up, you know, maybe five crystals for her and see if we get lucky. But uh, if I do get her, I will rank her up and do another video. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at Storm. Uh, feel free to click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about what you've seen of Storm so far. And you all have a blessed day.